Well, every February, the nation celebrates the achievements and history of African Americans as part of Black History Month. Its origins trace back to a building not far from the south side of Chicago. It's where a critical meeting was held over a century ago by a man who changed everything. Adriana Diaz has this story. Good morning, scholars. Good morning. On Urban Historian Sherman Thomas's Black History Month bus tour. And if you look out of what is now the East Windows, that is the building where the birth of Black History Month happened. All roads lead to this former YMCA. It was always jam-packed to capacity at the Wabash Y. This was one of the only places black people could stay in Chicago in the early 1900s. A frequent guest was historian Carter G. Woodson, who was born to former slaves and went on to graduate from the University of Chicago and Harvard. Inspired by this celebration of 50 years of emancipation in 1915, Woodson organized a meeting at the Y to create the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. And that association decided to come up with Negro Achievement Week, uh, which is the precursor to Black History Month, but it happened right here in this building. Let me teach you the history of Black History Month. Thomas, who goes by Dilla, says they chose the second week in February. Because it contained the birthday of Abraham Lincoln and the made-up birthday of Frederick Douglass. Woodson's association also created the Journal of Negro History and provided materials for schools to teach black history, lessons that sometimes took place in secret. I think there are a lot of parallels comparing what's happening now with the banning of black history books and what Dr. Carter G. Woodson was attempting to do, trying to not use the lessons of the past to shame anyone, but to make sure that we don't repeat those same mistakes. He was a very creative, very imaginative, resourceful man. Evelyn Brooks Higginbotham is a Harvard history professor. Her father worked closely with Woodson and says Woodson was known as a stickler for perfection and for his doggedness. Black history had been written before Carter G. Woodson. What Carter Woodson did, which, which no one else did, was to start a movement a movement that would comprise the entire nation. In 1976, the association expanded the week to a month. Congress designated February as Black History Month a decade later. Seeds Woodson planted in this building in 1915 Chicago. So for him, the idea of a week was never a week. The idea of a month was never a month as we have it now. It was always 365 days with all of the different activities. He was a builder. He brought people together. I think he'd be very proud of the history that we've made. And I think he would agree that we still have a little ways to go. Adriana Diaz, CBS News.